welcome back to Science Rocks. We continue our tour of the Pinellas County STEM Academies. We go to visit William Black at Anona Elementary. Questions and answers. You notice there was a lot of re-engineering. And the questions that were asked in a lot of the groups were about almost, well, can it be this color? Or can it move? That's all opportunities for re-engineering like Ms. Tarzan was talking about. So do a little reflection like you do in science, your science journals. Same thing for this journal. They were working on a recycling prod project. Uh, I got the idea, it was in the newspaper. Um, it was actually a contest uh, by the recycling department, I guess, of Pinellas County. And we kind of eschewed the whole Facebook voting situation. And, and instead of doing that, we basically made some things. Uh, there were five groups. They, were given, they brought in recycling materials, and I brought in some extra recycling materials. And they were to determine uh, to make a new product. It was kind of based on the whole Shark Tank thing to where uh, not only we're going to make the product, but they're also learning how to market the product, come up with slogans, come up with the product name. Uh, some, of, some of the youngsters were just profit margin. They were kind of ahead of the curve as far as that was, con was concerned. And uh, that's what we were doing. A fun and fast way to keep your magazines, art supplies, and pencils, pencils <laughs> organized. They used the technique from what they learned oh. in the rainbow loom Look at that. to make Whoa. their umbrella on the inside. Because at first, the, uh, one rubber band was too strong. I would make it bend over. So we just kept on adding on. And then this is the wire clothes hanger that we cut the hooks off and straightened out. Holy and then at the end, we curved it into an S. And then the rubber bands, I can get this over. With the acronym being science technology, engineering and mathematics, I think it's problem solving. I think there's, with the Common Core or Florida Core, or whatever you want to call it now, I think there's an emphasis on problem solving and actually implementing what you learn into problem solving. And I think engineering in particular takes science and technology and does just that. You can apply it to real world situations. I mean, today is a perfect example of that. When they're looking for products that could be real world use. We're making a little phone and key holder. No, it's called the connected train. It's, it's made for it to carry, carry tons of objects at once. It can also be used for art studios or music studios. It's pulled by a handle. It is made out of all of the recyclable materials. It's funny, we had an activity last year and they tried to think of jobs in which they didn't have STEM principles attached to it and they couldn't basically because you know all those things are it's not necessarily you're going to be an engineer or a mathematician or scientist like you said but the tech the tech piece certainly is going to touch any future job it doesn't matter if you're a meter reader who's carrying that tech that doesn't have to read meters anymore that zaps to the meter i mean that's happening right now i mean i think they're amazed at the fact that stem does yeah we need to be in that order well, even Alexa, kids that aren't McKenzie, in stem academy Tessa. I, I push this out to my Hi, classroom as well, since this. I'm the facilitator. Yeah. Um, I think all kids should have an opportunity and so, to do it. And so when I ask questions like this of kids that aren't necessarily science and mathematicians that just love the subject, they're shocked as to the touch. Put the other one in there because they go together like perfect. Like a cut cereal box that you can put like books in, and then we have different and then we sized have different water containers. bottles on the side, so you can put like pencils in it and like scissors. I think STEM is a hot situation right now. I think people are really starting to understand parents in particular, and, and kids somewhat. I think they're learning more. But as far as career sources, I mean, those are the jobs of the future. There's no doubt about it. And every kid. I don't think they're worried about the career per se. I think they're more intrigued by the fun and the hands-on things. I mean, you think about communication today and the technology aspect, I mean, kids, it's almost like that's how they play to where when they're, when they're incorporating STEM principles, it's things that they're already integrated within themselves, I think. I think putting it in that perspective as far as math is concerned to where it's not just numbers and it has a purpose, I think it helps the children greatly. There are great things happening throughout Pinellas County with our STEM academies. And we take you to a training where teachers are learning how to use Tetrix Prime for our upcoming STEM Academy Family Nights in March. Yes. Yeah, all the other stuff goes in there. I just have putting that. it in there. Right right That's our show for today. I'm Laura Spence, and I'll see you next time.